Hello, welcome to our video on installing the DTS Content Creator AAX plugin. The first thing we will do is open the installer and press continue a couple times to get through the information pages. You can read through the end user license agreement and print or save it for your records. When you agree, the system will ask you for password verification. I'm on a laptop, so I'm going to use my Touch ID. It should only take a few seconds for a successful installation. Now let's go through the items that were added to your system. The primary item is the AAX plugin. If you go to your system drive and open library, then application support, followed by Avid and audio, the plugins folder contains all of your AAX plugins, including DTS Content Creator, which we just installed. I have a few other DTS plugins installed that we will go over in future videos. The next thing we will look for is in your applications folder. You should find a DTS folder, which has DTS Content Creator folder in it. Inside this, you will find Documentations folder, which contains the user's guide and an example session. Everything inside your application folder is protected. So when you unzip your example session, it should go to your downloads folder, unless you have set up your system for it to go elsewhere. You can place the example session on your desktop or a work drive, because we're going to be going over this session in detail in future videos. Also inside your Applications folder, you will find DTS Administrator and DTS Control, which we'll highlight in future videos. There is also an uninstaller which removes everything we are going over in this video. If you go back to your System Drive and Library and back to Application Support, a DTS folder has been created. You will find all of the monitoring speaker configurations as well as user snapshots that we'll learn about later. Depending on your system, you should be able to go to the Go menu and press the Option key to get to your user library. Inside of Application Support, you will find a DTS folder. This contains all of the user-specified files for DTS Creator, DTS Administrator, DTS Control, and other DTS utilities that we'll install in a later video. These are all the components of the DTS Content Creator plugin. I hope you found this video helpful, and we look forward to you joining us in the next one.